So, uh, let's see. Okay, so yeah, I, I see that as well. So it looks like uh, that this connection was on my end. So my laptop had disconnected from the internet. But uh, we'll, we'll just go ahead and say that uh, we'll blame it on the um, thing. So what was the last thing you heard? Yeah, so it should be back now. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that it did freeze. Okay, okay. Was that uh, where we were in the periodic table? Maybe. We, we can address that. So, um, so just to kind of, uh, I guess I'll just say it again. So, um, we know that we went through, this I'm doing in green, we went through 3P, right? And then we went through 4S. We just follow the rows of the periodic table until we get to the element we're looking for. And now we're going to go through 3D and then to 4P, which will lead us to our bromine. So we just have to follow the rows of the periodic table, uh, and that's going to tell us the, uh, the order that we're going to fill in these electrons. So although I've already written it here, we're, we're going to go through 4S before we hit 3D. Okay, and it's important that we always write these in terms of their energy level. Okay, so I'm just going to erase those arrows just because they're going to make things messy for us. So looking at this, let's see if we can see how many um, valence electrons bromine has. I'm going to just copy its electron configuration down here just so we have more space. Okay. If we're looking at the valence electrons now, remember that valence is the outermost shell. And so for us, in this case for bromine, the outermost shell, let me erase that, will be the ones with fours in front of them. And so if we look, we have two electrons in the 4s, four or five in the 4p, which is seven valence electrons. So what we have seen here is that d electrons are always core electrons. So, easy way to kind of figure this out in case you forget that, you only are ever going to look at S and P uh, subshells for your valence electrons. Because we're going to see that anytime you have D electrons, those are not going to uh, be part of the valence level. Because D is always going to be one uh, level behind. Have your brains been destroyed yet? I hope so. They probably are. But that's the way it is. So uh, let's do an easier one. Let's do calcium. We want to find this on the periodic table. Calcium is, lo and behold, it's right here. No, it's not. It's one level down. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 it should be in the fourth one. Okay, there's calcium. 
So if we look where calcium is, it, it is in the S block, which tells us that uh, calcium is going to have its last electrons, in this case, in 4S. So calcium is going to end with 4S. And if we see where it is, we see it's in the second column of the S block, which tells us that it's going to have two electrons in that particular subshell. Exciting. Yes, I know. So we must fill in everything before 4S. So if we look at the periodic table, we see we're going to have to fill in everything before 4S. So that's going to be 1S, 2S, I'll just put little checks, 2P, 3S, 3P, uh, and then we'll be where, where we are with 4S. So here we go. I know I'm doing this fast, um, but again, I'm just getting this information from the periodic table. And I've already just filled in those to their maximum capacity. And look, I have in fact uh, already separated them inadvertently by core and valence electrons. And so, since we are going to see that core electrons are boring, meaning for us they're not going to really do anything, they exist, but that's it, uh, we can abbreviate them. And so what that means is that if we look at, sorry again to have to keep scrolling back and forth, but uh, the way it is. Okay, all of these uh, happy, happy, noble gases here um, are going to have full P shells. So uh, remember noble gases? Wait, have we talked about noble gases in this class yet? Have we talked about, like, the names of the groups? Maybe. Well, um, that being said, okay, let's just do it here. So remember that group 18 are the noble gases, and they all have full valence P shell, uh, subshells. For example, neon has and uh, let's see, argon will have just putting these out there. Um, we can say, okay, look at this. And if we go back up to our calcium, we see, oh, look, all of this stuff is the same as argon, argon's electron configuration. And so one way to talk about calcium is just to write argon 4s2. It's a little shortcut that we understand, okay, the electrons that are contained within that kind of abbreviation, the argon, aren't really going to do anything because they're core electrons. Um, we can just kind of abbreviate those. And then we just have to put everything after argon. If we see where argon is, argon is right here.
So if we understand that argon contains all of the information for all those electrons before 4s, we just have to put the extra stuff, the stuff that argon doesn't have, that calcium does have. In that case, it's going to be 4s. If we look at bromine, we can do the same thing. We know that, remember, all this stuff up to the, that P shell was argon. And so we just have to write uh, everything that comes after that. And so we can see we can kind of do this little shortcut here that's going to help us uh, uh, just save a little bit of time. Of course, because this is a class, you guys will be have you will have to um, be able to do kind of both the uh, abbreviated way and the expanded way. Ha ha ha! Because I'm evil. We are going to continue this, uh, but I have put homework that you will be able to solve uh, on this particular topic. I have one more shortcut to show you since we are running out of time. Some students uh, like this particular shortcut. If you arrange your uh, subshells like this, where you just kind of write them all out, they will also tell you the order that you should fill your electrons. If you draw diagonal arrows through all of these, they will tell you exactly how you're going to fill up your, uh, your, your shells. So that's going to tell us we're going to do 1s first, then we go back up, then we go through 2s, then we go back up, then we go through 2p, and then 3s, and then we go back up, we go through 3p, and 4s, and then we take that back up again, then 3d, 4p, 5s, 4d, 5p, 6s, etc. So this is another way that some students like to kind of uh, use as a, a, a shortcut to remembering the order of the orbitals. Yes, so this way some students like it. Uh, some, some students just like the periodic table. Uh, just going through going through it this way, um, but uh, yeah, that's how that's going to uh, work. Okay, so um, we still have just a little bit of stuff left to do with this uh, material, uh, so we will talk about it again on Monday. Just so you know, tomorrow is a uh, we're going to be doing uh, exam review. That's what we're doing, right? Um, because I've given you a homework assignment that's going to ask you to correct your exam, as it were, um, I will be kind of limiting people to maybe one or two questions uh, just because I don't want to do your homework for you. Uh, so maybe choose like the most difficult ones that you guys have and, um, you know, take screenshots of those and put them in Discord so we can uh, go over them tomorrow. Uh, so, of course, if you don't want to show up for that, uh, just don't worry. Uh, if you do have questions about that particular assignment or on this assignment, um, go ahead and also put those in, in the Discord. Uh, you do have enough information here to, to finish that, um, that worksheet, but just in case there's anything that's confusing, I'm happy to answer it. Okay. So... Um, Sorry about the internet issues. We always have them. <laughs> Today was, was my turn. Uh, so hopefully, uh, it looks like we might have two videos that I'll upload. Um, they just might be shorter just because of uh, that. No, they're not abbreviations, unfortunately. Yeah, they, they, to my knowledge, they're just kind of random letters. So they may mean something in like German or, or like some other language, but as far as I know, they're just kind of Random. Yeah. <laughs> I could look that up, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure. So, Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Hi, Oz. Nah. Okay. 
See you guys uh, tomorrow.